Top five things youth needs to know to be prepared for college. What you think about that? Uh, what are what are like what are my top five? Yeah, your top five. You give somebody somebody. What you think, John? If I need five, what's five things I need to know to be ready for college or to prepare myself for college? Uh, it's so many uh, layers to this one. My first statement. So I'm going to use the word management, self management, yes. because yes. you are the boss of you. You don't have a parent yes. and go to class, do this, mm -hmm. do that, especially if you're living on campus. You pick mm -hmm. your class, you go to your classes, you choose when yes. you do your homework. You choose to do homework at all if you do it. And if you not do it, it's all of mm -hmm. you. Time management is very important. Uh, resource management is important. Time, you know, uh, things like that. You have the opportunity to do a lot of uh, good and positive things some things you want to do some things you don't want to do managing those things what you do yeah. and what you don't want to do is very important you're there yeah. you know what i mean this is your first taste of adulthood and i understand you don't have the maturity you don't have the uh experience to be managing these situations uh that will directly affect the rest of your life uh these decisions you're making in this college whether you drop a class or you uh, struggle through it, you take the, the C or the D, or you go back for the A, this stuff is gonna affect you in your 40s. When you're making these decisions uh, in your 20s, sometimes uh, as young as 18. So uh, management uh, is um, is a big piece of, uh, and it's self-management, because it's your time, your finances, your energy, your money, your sleep. Uh, yeah. The things you eat, the people you hang around, how much fun you have, you're in charge. Yeah. And those things aren't just like, I'm gonna do what's best for me all the time. Well, right. sometimes what's best for you, um, it doesn't please you, but it right. serves you. It's gonna right. serve you in the long run, but it doesn't please you. Yeah, you know, you gotta point. learn how to differentiate those things. I would say that management, uh, sport management is like number one. Planning is number two. Uh, but everything uh, goes back to that first thing, self-management. Uh, you know, just uh, deciding. Because planning, management is planning. Yeah. Uh, planning your classes, trying to see after college. Because mm -hmm. that's going to be your motivation. That goal, whatever, the, mm -hmm. whatever it is for you, that's going to be on the other side of that rainbow. That's right. going to be your motivation. Because you're yeah. not going to go to class. The teacher's going to be old and ugly dude. You know what I mean? Uh, class ain't going to be fun. That ain't your motivation. You know what I mean? Just to get another. You've been making A's all your life. Some of y'all. Uh, that's not really motivation. Maybe it's the money. Maybe it's the prestige. Uh, mm -hmm. Whatever. Remember your... Uh, in your planning, number two, uh, remember your motivation. Uh, I think it's silly, but it works for a lot of people. Make a vision board. Put your little yeah. dream club up there. Put yourself doing it, y'all. Mm -hmm. It works for you, you know what I mean? Uh, when you want to sleep in or do this. And like, yeah. go back to management. Your free time. Man, is that. Have fun. Go have a drink. Go, uh, go to a party. Don't burn yourself out. And so this all goes to management. Uh, number two is planning. Um, I think I think every one of my one, two, three goes back to management, like managing your emotion, uh, your love life, and stuff like that. Because you want to do a top three, yeah, yeah, for sure, yeah, for sure. So uh, there's uh, self management, planning, uh, you know, securing resources. Uh, taking care of your uh, mind, your mind yeah. and body, uh, mm -hmm. like walk. You're gonna be sitting down in the class a lot, and you're gonna be walking the class. That's all the exercise I need. Watch your diet. Uh, you do gotta watch your diet for sure. Stay in tune. Stay. I mean, I hate. Uh, you know, I, I, you know, uh, seems like I'm getting to God later, but He's perfect. You're not. Yeah. Yeah. It's true. You gotta manage yourself. Uh, he's always going to be there and he's always going to be right. He's always going to be strong. Uh, so you need to make sure you get you together and in line with him. So God is definitely in my top five. Your spiritual health and your well-being 
who protect you and use your discernment yeah. uh, when joining organizations or picking your class. Boy. Anything, yeah. uh, you know, you can uh, use God or your spiritual uh, life or your spiritual health is uh, very important too. So, yeah. That was a lot, but you know, that's kind of No, it is a lot. It's not it's not an easy five. I know for um like you say, man, um learning discipline, like self control, like you say, discipline. And you learn those things, some of these things you learn in high school. Um learning how to be efficient, like what classes can you take? Can you efficiently do it? Because if you could do it, if you could do three class efficiently instead of trying to do five, because you're trying to, you're trying to get done early. Just do three. Just stay at three. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, Yeah, exactly. Manage your expectations. Right. Um, Understand, like you say, with health. Understanding your health, like putting yourself in healthy situations. Like don't, like you say, if you know, like knowing your genetics, your genetical code. Right, knowing. Where you, what kind of genetics you are like? If you're tall and slender, if you're short and husky, like if you're sitting down at a desk all day, you don't need to be eating snacks. You know what I'm saying? Because it seems like when you do that, the weight it seems like it just add on quicker. It's weird. Something about sitting down and eating snacks, you add it adds on quicker. So you got to be mindful of that. You know what I'm saying? Your genetics and stuff like that. Um. What would be the S3? Four is handling your business. Like staying on top of your financial aid. Um, staying on top of your paperwork. Anything that needs to be done. Hey, we need you to do this for them. Yes, get that in. Staying on top of your scholarships. You got to get on that. Even now, you know, uh, I say five is understanding using tech. You need to learn how to use a computer at this point in your life. It, it don't make sense not even to have one now. You probably need to get a laptop, figure it out, and learn how to use it to make your job easier. Because writing on paper is going away. You know, it's turning, going away. You know, trying to yeah. physically turn, waiting in line in financial aid office to physically turn in a form. Yeah. Uh, is kind of you know crazy when you can use a resource yeah. and submit it in a timely fashion, any time of yeah. the day or night. Before that midnight deadline, and you submitted that, it counts. Whether yeah. you know you, uh, you overslept and you didn't get to turn this form in, you gotta uh, use uh, the technology and the resources that you have available uh, to your benefit. So the last question is: Does high school prepare you for college classes? Uh, that's a tricky one. A yes and no. Um, I don't think so. <laughs> some of them, like, you know. I do, and the fact is because yeah. um, you go to school uh, in high school, it's eight hour day. You get there at seven, you leave at three fifty. No mm-hmm. exceptions. Class after right. class after class. You get a mm-hmm. lunch. You get it. It's so structured and it's so crammed, subject right. after subject. But when um, I liked uh, only having class Mondays, Wednesdays, and Fridays, and that was a considered right. a full schedule. Uh, right. I can take them. Uh, I can be done by twelve. And I can, right. that, that can be twelve hours. I can be done. Start at seven. Be done by twelve. So that's right. uh, that's easier. Picking what you want, like your English, having only one English or one history class, or having right. only yeah. one math class. Uh, that's easy. Um, writing the paper. In certain uh, certain instances, is easier. Now when you get into right. your major. Like, so I thought that was uh, easier. Like um, that part, that first part was easier. I didn't like writing papers, but my thing is yeah. major. When the classes get really specific in what mm-hmm. you want to do, he thinks that part portion is easy. Uh, I yeah. think uh, the first part of college um, is easier than high school. You think so? Uh, yeah, for sure. I think the, the scheduling is easier, but I think it just depends on what you like, too. I think it depends on what you like. To me, core classes, and that's what we talking about being efficient. I didn't understand that when I was younger. Getting those ACT scores, I didn't realize why you need to take the ACT until I tried to go back to school. Now you in the in there trying to take this compass test. <laughs> it's insane. <laughs> and um, to get up to speed, because if you don't take the ACT, you don't start out in English one. 
if you they, even if they even let you start, you got to go to the compass room and you got to get up to that point. You know what I'm saying? And being efficient, if you got to take like, what is it? What's the little remedial English classes? If you got to take those classes, you got to pay for them, but they don't count towards your degree though. <laughs> it yeah, just you gets you up to English one. You, you, you yeah, you got to know that. You got to know that kind of stuff. You know, you've been in college for two years and ain't got one credit. Boy, you're taking, uh, for real. Beginners reading, uh, you know what I mean. Um, and if you spend financial aid on that, guess what? That takes away from your total financial aid that you spend. It takes yeah, away I from mean, all that. Cause yeah. you're, it's gonna take you four years to get an associate. You yeah. know what I mean? And that's very discouraging when you figure out you need these classes to get right. the other classes. They're prerequisites for you to get the classes and you realize in two years you've done nothing towards your degree that's very very emotionally discouraging and you've been trying your best you're struggling Boy. in uh, uh, beginners reading or intermediate reading uh, but you yeah, need they'll probably be on the I'm list thinking, too uh, yeah. uh, comp itself staying committed I think that'll probably be one of the things too uh, having the ability to stand, com stand committed to the path a lot of times people go to college and then they just like, nah, I'm done. I'm good. But learning how to stay committed, even when it ain't comfortable, you know what I'm saying? I think that's a um, understanding that part of uh, college, the, the journey of college. Even